Tune in to Overcomers TV on your favorite app or streaming platform. It's time to overcome. So we were actually living in China at the time. Our family had been living there for 13 years, and we were looking back to move to the States. Our parents' whose parents were starting to get sick and needing help. So we knew we were going to move back to the Springs, and so we just looked online for Christian schools. Because we were homeschooling in China, we knew we wanted to transition back to a Christian school. That way the culture shift wouldn't be as big of an adjustment. And so we just looked online for Christian schools, and CSES was one of the ones that came up. And so we put that on our list, and then once we actually got stateside, we visited all the ones that were on our list, and when we visited CSCS, it was just an amazing experience. Everyone was really welcoming and just felt like home right away. Like people that we didn't even notice as we were walking in the hallway, they saw we had the little patch that said shadow or a guest, and they were like, hey, it's good to see you. We're glad you're here. And so those like welcoming moments and people just being really kind to us was really great, and that's what kind of set CSCS apart from the other schools that we visited. Yeah, I haven't been here since freshman year. I only joined junior year, and so I didn't really get to see how the culture of like the senior classes has been. But last year, I know like the senior class was a great influence on me as a junior, just kind of setting the tone and setting an example of how a senior should act and how they should influence the younger kids that are coming up through freshman, sophomore, junior year. And so I tried to kind of take what I've got from the seniors of the past in just pouring into the freshman kids, like freshman and sophomore kids, trying to just show them the amazingness of the school and the opportunities that they have. Because a lot of the times, like, they'll come in freshman year and they just see all the crazy things of high school and kind of get overwhelmed by it. And so if I can help to, like, just show them, hey, this thing is really cool or this thing is fun and try and include them or just give them a, a really fun experience in high school and to show them how to be as a senior when they're a senior. I grew up in a Christian home overseas and then like that was just my whole life growing up and so then coming to America kind of seeing a whole different environment of Christianity was really cool and yeah so my parents they were teachers and that really influenced me and I saw how much a teacher can influence kids and change hearts and so that's kind of what God has called me to be I'm hopefully going to university to be a to learn how to teach music so I'm going to be teaching music and then hopefully using that education degree to go back overseas is what I'm hoping to do so that's kind of what God's called me to do yeah so actually probably an even like bigger push to be a teacher was from teachers here because I'd always grown up and seen my teachers and like oh yeah that's an option like seen my parents as teachers and known yeah that's an option that looks fun that's what I've known but then it was really at CSCS, my music teacher, Mrs. Flanagan, she teaches choir. It was my first time doing choir, and she just was really, really amazing. And I was like, whoa, yeah, I could do this. I see the way that she loves on students and just pours into them and shows Jesus' heart to them. And I was like, wow, that's really cool, and I want to do that. And so the teachers there, and then also, like, Bible teachers or science and math teachers, like Miss Bruce or Commander Thompson, they've just been amazing and shown how much teachers influence students. And so seeing like the good ones and how much, and then like, not that there have been bad ones, but just like, and in China also, I had not great teachers in some places. And so seeing the difference and realizing how much of a difference they make in education and how you view a subject or how you view Jesus, if it's a Bible teacher or just if you're a Christian at all, and seeing like the difference a good teacher versus a bad teacher can make, and then wanting to be a good teacher for kids so that I can influence them towards Jesus. It's a Christian school, so we know we're not, like the teachers aren't getting as much as they would at public schools and so just the financial aspect it's a sacrifice and so you know they're here to love on the students and then practically how you see that like they're spending their time you really like see they care about you whether they're volunteering their time to help with like service projects or helping with ministry programs or leading the worship team and showing us how to do things or teaching us music or spending extra time to help me prepare for a music audition just like the little acts of them helping me or helping other students just show how much they care about you so that's something that's really cool yeah so that actually was part of our consideration as we were coming back from China we knew we wanted like we knew we didn't really want to go to a public school because the difference would be so stark but then we knew going into any Christian school there's no way all of the students were going to be perfect Christians but part of why we wanted to go to a Christian school was the Christian teachers and so we knew that even if the students were not entirely Christian that the teach if the students weren't entirely Christian that the teachers would be setting that example and setting the tone and so here at CSCS when we came we realized like that yeah there are always going to be a few that say they're Christians but aren't really which is fine but 
Like the, Christ, the teachers there set the tone, and because of that, the like students that are actually Christians, they have the environment to really be true Christians and to just let the light shine from them and to have that great environment where they can share the love of Christ. Yeah, so there are definitely a bunch of things you can get involved with here at CSCS. Uh, one thing that I really enjoy and that I'm involved with is worship team. I'm the co-worship team leader. I've been since last year and then this year. We lead the worship for chapels every week we have on Wednesdays. And so last year we would meet after school on Tuesday and run through everything and get tech set up so that we could do it Wednesday morning. Then this year, because of some schedule changes, we've been meeting early Wednesday morning to run through the songs and get the tech set up before chapel. And so that's been really fun just to have the music aspect and then the community of just people coming together and working on praising the Lord and leading others to praise Him has been super cool. It's just a great community and I love the music too, so that's awesome. I'd say no school is like perfect or great, but CSCS has been really great to us and our family and I just really love it and yeah. Celebrate what Jesus is doing throughout the nation and rise up to answer His call on your life to serve the poor, heal the broken, free the captives, and bring joy to those in need. Find hope, encouragement, and motivation through Overcomers TV. This inspiring network features everyday people and ministries across America who are putting God's love in action. Tune in to Overcomers TV on your favorite app or streaming platform. It's time to overcome.